hello students so now in this uh, lecture uh, we're gonna see the type number two uh, based on statement sum as in the previous lecture the previous video we saw the type number one based on mean and variance of the binomial distribution uh, so today we'll gonna see type number two based on binomial distribution as I explained in the last video lecture only binomial distribution that is type number two it is based on this formula okay it contain only one formula as the pattern of the question it will be in statement sum okay like this you will have a statement sum where you have to read and understand the meaning of each and every word from which you will come to know the values of n x p and q so let's begin with the concept of type number two as there are there are lots of things which you have to remember in type number two as I had explained in the previous video that permutation, combination and the factorial, this symbol, exclamation, this symbol, actually it is known as factorial symbol. These three things, permutation, combination, factorial will play an important role here. So first we'll try to understand the meaning of the combination, factorial, small, small things, okay? As, um, let's begin with the concept now here the point number one which you have to remember is Bernoulli trials so here the Bernoulli trials actually it is an event in which there are only two outcomes success or failure as in the previous lecture only I had explained about the success and the failure so for success we take the symbol P and for failure we take the symbol Q as P and Q are what they are the probability so we consider P as successful probability and Q as failure it means if we consider P as head so Q will be tail as in the coin suppose the format of the question is uh, uh, like question answer type like true or false type so for P will consider true and Q will consider false so so once again we'll see the definition and it says that it is an event in which there are only two outcomes for example here clearly we can see that when a coin is tossed so when a coin is tossed so the answer it will be H that means head or T that means tail you will get only two outcomes two answer a sentence a statement which contain only two outcomes that means two solution either this or this it is known as what Bernoulli trials we'll take one more example when a shooter shoots a target so what will happen when a shooter shoots a target either it will hit the target or it will not here also we are getting two answer either it will hit the target or it will not yes or no we'll take one more example there is a question says that Delhi is a capital of India for this question also can I say the outcome will be two only either the answer will be true or it will be false such types of statement or a sentence I can say it is known as a Bernoulli trials where in which there are only two outcomes success or failure 
like here in the first example clearly we can see that the answer it will be ed or tail here also if Delhi is the capital of India either the answer will be true or it will be false so in such cases where the outcomes you are getting only two outcomes if we repeat the experiment several times here in short I can say that Bernoulli trials is an experiment we can say okay here I had written in the red pen it means what in simple language I will explain the probability of the success is the same every time the experiment is conducted so whenever the experiment is conducted when the experiment is conducted for the several times in each and every case, in each and every time, the probability of the success remain same. In short, in simple language, I will say that when the experiment repeat for several times, the probability of success remain same for example if I say a coin is tossed a coin is tossed a coin is tossed a single coin is tossed for one time only one time one time so okay so here the answer will be what either it will be head or it will be tail so can I say the n of s will be what 2 now for this question if I say if you want to find the probability of getting head only head probability of getting head so as we know that the formula to find probability is what n of a upon n of s yes or no so here we'll write n of a and n of s so n of s is what 2 and n of a that means probability of getting head so here we are getting only one head so answer of probability of getting head will be what 1 upon 2 same if you want to find the probability of getting tail the formula remains same n of a upon n of s okay if a is the event so n of a upon n of s if b is the event so n of b upon n of s yes or no so for this we'll take b so probability of getting tail as n of s is what 2 how many tails are there only one okay if we repeat this process this experiment for several times like if a coin is tossed one time can you see the probability of getting head is what 1 upon 2 yes or no so here for head we'll take success and for tail will take failure if we repeat this process for several times like two times three times four times five times in each and every case you will see that the probability of success will remain same so this is the actual meaning of Bernoulli trials it means what whenever the whenever we repeat the experiment for several times the probability of success remain same whether we repeat this process for two times three times four times five times the p of h the probability of getting ed will be same only one upon two only in every time every case got the point remember this as in short once again i will explain bernoulli trials is an event in which there are only two outcomes success or failure it means the probability of success is same every time here I took one example a coin is tossed when a coin is tossed several times one time two times three times see to that the probability of success remains same in short I can say the probability for H and T here it is what 0 0.5 and 0 0.5 50-50 percent yes or no okay so whenever the sum it is based on coin and a coin is tossed many times several times three times four times ten times hundred times but the probability of ed will be always it will be one upon two only understood 
so here for head will take p yes or no for head will take p and for tail failure that means for failure will take q so from this we can say the value of p is 1 upon 2 and q is also 1 upon 2 understood okay so in such cases whenever you are getting two outcomes like um, uh, in uh, the sums based on coin see to that whenever the experiment repeat several times always the probability the value of p remember the value of p it will be always 1 upon 2 okay so when you will apply this formula p plus q equals to 1 when you will substitute the value of p the q will also be same 1 by 2 only okay so remember this trick for coin whenever a coin is tossed for several times one time two times three times p and q the value will be same 1 upon 2 1 upon 2 okay now we'll move on to the next one that is binomial distribution as this formula is known as binomial distribution yes or no now we'll see in deep the meaning of each and every term n c x p q so here for each and every sum is a formula we can say as i said the majority of sum in this exercise is based on the type number 2 that means the binomial distribution formula so without knowing the value of n x p q you cannot find your answer so here see to that in a statement same whenever the word comes outcome whenever the word comes outcome times drawn item sample consist brought throws thrown out of straight away blindly you have to write the n is equal to so and so number okay for example if i take this example as a fair coin is tossed six times okay so as i said whenever the word comes outcome times okay six times straight away blindly seeing this word okay as here we have six time so this will be what a value of n so keep this word in your mind so whenever in a statement sum you see this word and there is a number to this word nearby number like six times yes or no okay like this so straight away you will write the value of n is so and so number understood in this way you can find your answer so remember this all tricks okay so exactly i am showing i am explaining the tricks now how to uh, get how to collect the number the values of n p q okay in a easy and simple way so whenever the word comes outcome times drawn item samples consist brought throws out of okay so remember they are the values of n for p how to guess in a statement sum that particular number is the value of p they will use the word probability or they will use the word success they will use the word percentage or in place of percentage they will use the symbol percentage symbol okay now i will explain here why percentage probability what is known as the value of p as we know that p is what probability so as we know that the probability formula is what n of a upon n of s okay so can i read this as numerator upon denominator okay got the point so now if i say out of 30 i got 20 
marks in max so what is the probability of my marks so here can I say it is 2 by 3 so this 2 by 3 this form actually can I say it is in the form of numerator upon denominator this numerator denominator form after cancellation after reducing this 20 and 30 whatever we get the value this actually value it is in form of probability only yes or no 2 upon 3 can I say this consider this 2 as n of a and this 3 as n of s yes or no so if I say I got out of 100 70 marks so here can I say 7 upon 10 you got the answer this 7 upon 10 is what is the probability so suppose if I say I got 50% uh, marks in mathematics so this 50% quite can write as 50 upon 100 yes or no further this 50 upon 100 we can write as 1 by 2 so in short in simple language I can say 50% we can write as 1 by 2 so here clearly we can see that this 1 by 2 this 1 co we can consider as n of a and 2 co consider as n of s so remember a number a reducible number in which after this we cannot cancel like 2 upon 3 after this we cannot cancel this number further even 7 upon 10 also so this pattern this form of answer is known as in short indirectly I can say it is probability only understood so remember whenever the word comes probability success percentage okay uh, either you see the number in numerator and denominator form okay like if they say that the probability is 1 by 3 as it is in the form of numerator and upon denominator yes or no and clearly we can see that in the statements and they will use the word probability is straight away you can see that the value of p is 1 by 3 yes or no as this 1 by 3 after that we cannot cancel no? we cannot reduce this 1 by 3 further okay so consider this part as n of a and this is n of s yes and here we have the clear clearly we can see that here we have the word probability so that means that number particular number is the value of p okay so remember so whenever they will use the word probability success percentage yeah the symbol straight away that number will be the value of p okay now here note down whenever the sum it is based on coin and the experiment is repeated several times several times several times a coin is tossed one time two time three time four time several times n number of times the value of p it will be always 1 by 2 and the value of q it will be always 1 by 2 only because when you will use the formula p plus q equals to 1 if a coin is tossed one time two times three times four times in each and every trial the value of p the probability of p will be 1 upon 2 as you will substitute this 1 upon 2 here you will get the value of q as 1 upon 2 only so in each and every case the value of p and q will be fixed so remember this trick whenever the sum it is based on coin the value of p and q will be fixed or a statement or a sentence it is in the form of question or answer like true or false yes or no true or false in that case also the value of p and q will be same as there are supposed 10 question for question number one what will be the answer in terms of true or false either it will be true or it will be false so what will be the probability of true 1 by 2 false 1 by 2 for each and every case the probability remains same okay so this is known as what a trials Bernoulli trials where you will get two outcomes and the p and q will be fixed yes or no so remember these tricks so whenever the summit is based on coins coins the p and q will be fixed only whether it is uh, three times four times several times n number of times p q will be fixed okay so we got the idea about n yes or no and even p also that means from the statement sum 
how we can find the value of n and p here as a fair coin is tossed six times say it straight away six times that means it is the value of n yes or no so here we can say the value of n is what six find the probability that it shows head head okay focus on the word it shows that head exactly five times at least one so the sum actually it is based on head okay so for head we have to take it as successful probability so for head we'll take p and tail will take q so as i told that if a experiment repeat several times and the sum actually is based on coin so whenever the sum it is based on coin blindly you can write your answer for p and q as 1 by 2 and 1 by 2 okay no need of writing and showing that the sample space is so and so n of s is n of a is what okay applying the formula of p of a n of a upon n of s no need of showing these steps directly you can write the value of n p and q straight away okay understood remember this points okay after this as you will get the value of p substitute the value of p here here you will get the value of q also so when you will read the question you will come to know the value of n p and q so as per the formula we require the value of p q n okay so we left with x and this c we'll see what do you mean by this n c x okay now we'll move on to the x what is x in simple language x means to find as you clearly we can see that as in the previous video also in the lecture also i had explained how to guess the value of x x is means x means what to find the value of x will be in the question find the probability that it shows exactly phi this phi stand for what the value of x if i say exactly 3 the value of x will be 3 if i say exactly 2 head so value of x will be what 2 if i say exactly 1 head the value of x will be 1 if i say exactly 0 head yeah in place of exactly 0 head if i say none none turns head if a coin is tossed find the probability that none turns head none turns head means tail will come and here the meaning of none means what we can say zero so whenever the word comes none the value of x will be what zero so that's why i wrote the value of x can be zero one two three four and then so on okay so now the next part is combination here the main concept from here the main concept will start okay so now pay attention so now we'll gonna see the basic things the tricks and techniques about the combination as the combination permutation factorial this all things it was there in the 11th standard okay so now i will explain each and everything again okay as what is combination what is factorial each and everything okay so first we'll start with factorial phi exclamation means actually it is not exclamatory it is symbol for factorial 4 then we'll take 3 2 1 0 okay and the factorial remember the factorial it's only for the positive integers actually positive integers okay so remember this n remember 5 4 3 as n n is positive integers and the value of n greater than equals to 1 we can say greater than equals to 1 not for the negative values till 1 okay here i wrote 0 also i will explain why i took 0 also okay so remember the value of n is positive integer or l greater than equals to 1 
or remember in simple language I can say the value of n belongs to natural number so now we'll see what do you mean by factorial as here I wrote the formula for the factorial whenever you have to find a factor of any number just simply what you have to do subtract one one number okay subtract one one number so as I will write first five from five subtract one number so five minus one will be what four from that number according to this formula this rule is what you have to subtract one one number till where I will explain now first you will write five then subtract one number you will get four then subtract you will get three then subtract you will get two then subtract you will get one as here the value of n it is what greater than equal to one we can take till one or more than one n belongs to natural number till natural number you have to take as n is a positive integers so these are the positive integers we cannot consider we cannot write 0 because 0 is neither positive nor negative and we cannot consider the number beyond this also like after this like 1 into 0 into minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 also why so that also I will explain so so whenever you have to find a factorial of any number till 1 you will write like 4 factorial will be 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 3 factorial will be 3 into 2 into 1 2 factorial will be 2 into 1 1 factorial will be 1 only it will not go beyond that 0 into minus 1 yes or no as we know that n is what positive integers so when you will multiply 5 4 3 2 1 ok so 5 4 is a 20, 20 threes are 60 so here you got 120 4 threes are 12 12 twos are 24 3 twos are 6 2 1 so the in simple language I will explain what do you mean by factorial factorial why we attach factorial to a particular number simply to convert this bigger digit yeah bigger number into a small digit yeah small number we can say so whenever we attach a factorial that means a bigger number is automatically get converted into a small number now so why I wrote till 1 only okay if you extend this number beyond 1 like if you write a 0 into minus 1 okay 0 into minus 1 into minus 2 so so and so numbers for this also okay into 1 into 0 into minus 1 into minus 2 here also into 1 into 0 into okay if you process if you consider this process 0 into if you take the negative integers also with 0 so what will happen as we know that whenever there is 0 between the numbers 0 into any number will be what 0 so answer for 4 factor will be what 0 3 factor will be what 0 5 factorial will be what 0 that means in each and every case the factorial answer will be 0 then what is the use of that factorial okay so the factorial use is what so converting the bigger number into smaller number and we cannot consider the negative numbers as well as 0 also as you consider the 0 and the negative numbers negative integers and the positive integers so 0 into any number will be 0 so in every case you will get answer 0 only so that's why whenever you find the factorial of any number okay we write till 1 only understood so if I say 6 factorial so answer will be 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into till 1 you have to go got the point okay so you cannot write 0 into minus 1 so if you do the answer will be what 0 only because 0 into any number will be what 0 got the point okay so that's why I wrote n is what here the number is what the positive integers as positive integers start from 1 because 0 is neither positive nor negative okay I hope you all understood the meaning of factorial okay so here when you will see the 0 factorial is 1 here 0 factorial is not 0 because in many case when you will solve you will get 0 factorial in that case you have to write the values of 0 factorial also now so here 0 factor remember 0 factorial is equals to 1 only why I will explain as 
here we have one formula simply I will replace this n by 1 so as we know that one factorial is 1 this one will, I will keep like this 1 minus 1 is what 0 factorial so if I bring this 1 down so 1 upon 1 is what 1 so here straight away I can say that 0 factorial is equals to 1 only if you want to prove why it is 0 factorial is 1 so this is the one way in which you can prove yeah you can understand why the 0 factorial is equals to 1 there are many ways okay in which uh, you can prove and you can find your answer but the simplest way I can guess this is the simplest way in which you can remember why 0 factorial is equals to 1 so remember whenever you get 0 factorial in place of 0 factorial you will write 1 okay so this was the concept based on factorial now we'll move on to the next part done with the factor also now we'll see what is NCR okay so your NCR is what sometime in place of R there will be X the meaning of R and X will be same okay your C stand for what combination C stand for what combination your N is what number of items objects things I can say here R is what R is known as selected items objects yeah things I can say it means what if I say select three cards from 52 cards now how to convert the statement into combination form how you will write how will you how you will present this statement in combination listen here as we know that n stand for what number of items number of object number of things so here and R stand for what selected so here how many cards we have to select three so that will come down how many total number of cards are there number of items 52 so that you will write here so remember this this part is for the number of items and this part for the selected so here we can read this as this C stand for combination this is number of items and this is selected part this is number of items understood okay how we can read this NCR okay so now we'll see the formula for NCR so here the NCR formula is what n factorial upon r factorial n minus r factorial Suppose if you want to find 6C3 using this formula, so what will be the answer? Here it means what there are 6 number of items in which we have to select 3 like that, okay? Or else if I say 7C4, using the formula we will see how to find the answer. Okay, so this is what n, 6 factorial r it is 3 into n minus r n minus r n is what 6 minus 3 factorial yes or no so 6 factorial as i know that 6 factorial we can write as what 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 1 just now only we saw the concept on factorial how to present how to write factorial yes or no so here 6 factorial we can write as what 6 into 5 so and so so six, we can write here 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, done. Now 3 factorial we can write as what? 3 into 2 into 1. Yes or no? Here we have into. 
now 6 minus 3 is what 3 6 minus 3 is what 3 so here we left with 3 factorial so 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 here we wrote 3 into 2 into 1 again this 3 factorial we can write as what 3 into 2 into 1 yes or no further clearly we can see that the connection between the number is multiplication so we can cancel the numbers okay 3 1s are 3 2s are 2 2 cancel so we have left with 5 4s are 20 upon 1 that is 20 so 6 c 3 actually it is known as what 20 so that 20 number we represent in combination form as 6 c 3 and 6 c 3 answer is what 20 so converting a combination pattern this pattern into number using this formula using the factorial concept is known as combination i can say got the point understood so in this way whenever you see such type 6c3 7c4 8c2 okay you can apply this formula to get the answer and there is one more method i can say the shortcut method in which you can find your answer without using the formula also okay we'll solve this sum and then we'll see we'll take the same example and we'll uh, try to solve the same example without using formula that means i can say by using shortcut method so 7c4 so 7c4 using the formula this is n so 7 factorial upon r is what 4 factorial into 7 minus that means n minus r 7 minus r 4 can i say it is 3 factorial so 7 we can write as 7 into 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 4 ko we can write as 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 3 ko we can write as 3 into 2 into 1 in each and every number the connection is multiplication so we can cancel the numbers yes or no 4, 4 also cancelled 3 2s are 6 6 6 also get cancelled so 7 5s are 35 upon 1 so we left with 35 so 7 c 4 is what 35 so in this way you can solve the combination part using the formula you can get the answer okay so there is one more method i can say the shortcut method without short it is not shortcut method it is a method only uh, that means without using the formula also we can find our answer now let's see how to find our answer without using the formula and that method is applicable in board also you can solve the sum using this formula also or else you can solve the sum by using this method also now we'll see the method number two we'll take the same example simply what you have to do listen here six c three focus on this selected part selection this denominator number is known as selection just go on writing the number 3, 2, 1. Okay, write the number in backward direction till 1. For the selection part I am saying, okay. For 4, here we have 7C4. So 4 will write 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 till 1. As we know that here n belongs to what? Positive integers, na? We cannot write 0 if we write 0. Think now if we write 0, so 0 into n number will be 0, 0 into n number will be 0. And we know that if denominator contains 0, you will get not defined answer. So in each and every case for combination, you will get not defined if you multiply that number by 0. Okay, remember for the selection part till 1, you will go like 3, so 3 into 2 into 1. 4, 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. Here we have 2, so you write 2 into 1. Suppose if I say uh, 9C6, see the selection part 6, so you will write 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1, like factorial. That is like factorial, only, no? 3 factorial, 4 factorial, so 4, 3, 2, 1, 2 factorial, 2 into 1, 6 factorial, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Understood? Now, 
as the selection part you will write in the denominator got the idea now in the numerator what you will do here what we have 6 na how many numbers we have to select out of 6 3 that means assume that these are the 6 cards in which we have to select 3 3 so now from this number from 6 okay you will go from that 6 from that number up to 3 numbers means you will write 6 into 5 into 4 for the numerator part just check the number 6 c3 that means 6 c3 this 3 and 6 means what remember from this number from this position move the number in the backward direction okay up to three numbers only so you have when you will count one two three yes we got the three numbers yes or no like here seven c4 seven c4 from seven from seven write down the number in the backward direction okay so you will write 7, 6, 5 into 4. You cannot write 3 here because here the selection part is what? 4. So from 7, you will count the number. You will write the number in backward direction. Okay. Till the selection part. As we selected only 4 numbers. 4 numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4. 8, C2. 8, C2. Only 2 numbers. So 8 into 7 as 9 C 6 that means from 9 we have to select only 6 number so you will write the 6 number in backward direction from 9 so the 6 number will be what 9 8 7 6 5 4 count and check 1 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 1 2 3 4 one two three understood we'll take one more example so you will come to know how to write if i say seven c three check the selection part first write till one then see the number of objects as we have number of objects seven selection is three so from there you will write only three numbers seven 6 and then 5 i hope so you understood the second method also okay now we'll check the answer what we'll get so 3 2 is a 6 6 5 4 is a 20 upon 1 so here the answer is 20 so 6 c3 here we got 20 using the formula also you got 20 so it is on you if you want to apply in the sum when you will solve the sum you can use the formula also or without using the formula also you can find your answer in both the cases you are getting the same answer yes or no so it is on you so i will suggest to apply this method okay when you will solve the sum here when you will apply the formula it takes two three step to get the answer here in one step only you will get the answer okay now 7c4 we'll check for 7c4 so 4 get cancelled 3 2 is a 6 6 7 5 is a 35 upon 1 so 35 here also we got by using the formula 35 and without using the formula also we are getting the same answer so which one is i can say a better method a quick method this one yes or no if you apply this method also in the exam as this is a rule only it is not a shortcut method okay it is a combination rule only you can apply this method in exam also they will not detect your marks you will get full marks okay don't worry so here 8c2 2 1s are 2 4s are 4 7s are 28 yes or no 6 5 4 6 5 4 yes or no 3 1s are 3 3s are 2 1s are 2 4s are multiply you will get the answer for 9c6 Yes or no? 3 2s are 6, 7 5s are. So, in this way, you can find your answer without using the formula also. I hope so. You all 
understood that's in both the case both method using formula and using without using formula also okay so now we'll see some formulas with respect to the combination here whenever you see this pattern ncn it indicate what ncn that means both the numbers are same both the numbers are same number of object as well as the selection part both the numbers are same always 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 the answer will be one you will write one only why so listen here 7c7 see the selection part goes on writing the number till one yes or no? now check the number of object 7 from 7 the selection part is what 7 all the numbers we have to select to 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 so here all the numbers will get cancelled and here you will left with 1 so that's why you are getting answer 1 so remember whenever you have this selection part and uh, selection part and the number of objects same 7 c 7 6 c 6 4 c 4 3 when the, whenever the number is same straight away you will write the answer 1 without solving also okay now we'll see the next one n c 0 okay so whenever you see a number any number number of object and the selection part is none none means zero nothing we have to select always the answer will be what one why so okay here we cannot use this method which one a shortcut okay you will come to know why 7c0 is 1 you here you will come to know by using the formula so when you will apply the formula n is what 7 r is what 0 n is what 7 r is what 0 so 7 minus 0 is 7 so here 7 get cancelled yes or no 1 0 factorial we know that 0 factorial is what yes or no 1 so here 1 upon 1 is what 1 so that's why whenever a selection part is none whenever i say 8c0 you will write 1 9c0 you will write straight away you will write 1 whenever the selection part is none 0 always the answer will be 1 when you will apply this formula understood so that was the second formula understood so whenever you have the same number the answer will be 1 whenever the selection part is none 0 still the answer is 1 now nc1 whenever you see nc1 you will write answer n like if i say 6c1 5c1 7c1 so always the answer will be n this part only why we'll see if i say 7c3 it means what this will be 3 into 2 into 1 from 7 we have to select only three numbers from 7 na? three numbers only we have to select so 7 into uh, 6 into 5 yes or no if i say 7c2 so this will be 2 into 1 from 7 you have to select only two numbers so 7 into 6 if i say 7c1 so this one will be same only now and we have to select only one number so one number means what you will get that same number now yes or no got the point so whenever the selection part is one you will get that same number of object 3 7 c 7 6 5 2 so i wrote 7 6 so when it is one so it will be 7 only yes or no if i change this value 8 c 3 8 c 2 8 c 1 so your answer will be what 8 the side will be different but 8 c 1 will be what 8 when you write 9 c 1 the answer will be what 9 so remember without solving also using this formula whenever 
a selection part is one if you select only one card you will get the number of object only okay so now the fourth formula it is very important formula this formula when you have to apply remember this formula this one if the number of object is greater you are near to that number if I say 9 C 8 okay so 9 C 8 instead of finding 9 C 8 here n is what 9 r is what 8 so 9 minus 8 is what 1 it means instead of finding 9 c 8 you find 9 c 1 so whatever the answer will be for 9 c 8 it will be same for 9 c 1 okay now suppose if i say 7 c 6 so instead of finding 7 c 6 you find 7 c 1 what is the point we'll take one more example if i say 6c4 instead of finding 6c4 you find 6c n minus r so n minus r 6 minus 4 2 find 6 6c2 you will get same answer so now i will extract this if i say 9c8 instead of finding 9c8 if you apply this formula and you find 9c1 we'll see what the answer you will get 9c1 this will be 1 and this will be 9 only and for 9c8 so this 8 will be what 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 and from 9 we have to select only 8 numbers from 9 so 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 yes or no 2 only 8 numbers no? so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so here clearly we can say 8 get cancelled 7 6 also 5 4 3 2 so we left with 9 1 so here also we left with 9 upon 1 so 9 upon 1 is 9 here also we are getting 9 only so got the idea when you have to apply this formula whenever the selection part is near to this number near closer closer or else I can use the word near so that time you apply this formula so that means instead of finding 9c8 simply you find 9c1 okay directly you will get the answer without cancellation I hope so you all understood the concept actually which was there in 11th standard yes or no this factorial okay I hope so you all understood if not so watch the video two three times then of course you will come to know then after that factorial after that we saw using the formula how to find the answer for combination yes or no and without using the formula also I had explained how to find the answer in both the cases you will get the same answer only and then we saw some short formulas we took some examples also based on this okay understood okay so now we'll move on to the next part fourth one as I hope you all might be knowing about this word exactly means what equal to at least means what greater than equal to greater than equal to if I say at least 2 it means what 2 greater than equal to means what equal is there now so that means 2 will come and more than 2 also so 2 3 4 5 6 goes on at the most some say at the most some people say at most at most is the correct correct word so at most means less than equal to the meaning of at most is what less than equal to at least is greater than equal to so if I say at at most 2 that means less than equal to means 2 will come 
less than 2 means 1 is there less than 2 is 0 is there less than 0 minus 1 no negative integers okay got the point and why I took 0 that thing I had explained here when I said the value of x will be 0 1 2 yes or no so remember exactly means equal to at least means greater than equal to at the most means less than equal to so here as I said for type number 2 there are lots of things lots of concept the small small things which you have to remember before dealing or before solving any sums of type number 2 as type number 2 sums are based on statement sums okay so here we connected with all the points point number 1 Bernoulli trials point number 2 formula point number 3 a small small things based on NPQ it is what how to find X combination factorial point number four meaning of the word exactly at least at the most at most okay now we'll see how to find the value of x how to guess the x how to present x okay how to frame x okay so that we can say the point number five so whenever the word comes that we have to find probability of getting so and so exactly two three four exactly so whenever the word exactly comes to so the value of x so the value of x will be equals to okay so the value of x whenever the word comes exactly Two, three, four, anything. So the value of x will be equal to two. If it is three, so x equals to three. If it is four, you will write x equals to four. Now how to convert that? We have to find the probability, na probability. So simply you will write p, p, and p. So I converted that sentence. Find the probability of getting exactly two. I can write p x equals to two p x equals to 3 that means probability of getting exactly 3 head tail whatever the question it is given okay so remember exactly means the value of x will be same x equal to 2 x equal to 3 x equal to 4 simply you write p so it will get converted into probability of x equal to so and so okay whenever the word comes at least okay either you can write p of 2 p of 3 p of 4 in instead of writing x equals to 2 you can write p of 2 p of 3 p of 4 both are one and the same only now we'll see for at least at least if i say 2 so at least means greater than equal to yes or no if I say 3 it means greater than equals to 3 if I say 4 it means x the value of x will be greater than equals to 4 simply you write p here so easily you can convert that statement sentence into probability form if they say that probability of getting at least 2 head probability of getting at least 3 head you can write like this p x greater than equals to 2 p x greater than equals to 3 p x greater than equals to 4 like this okay now what do you mean by this p x greater than equals to 2 it means what greater than equals to 2 means what 2 yeah more than 2 so 2 will come 3 will come 4 will come 5 will come okay then so and so Simply you can write here p of 2, p of 3, p of 4, p of 5 till where, till where we have to write. So this part till where we have to write it depend on n, the value of n, the value of n. 
and we know that from n from where you will get n from where you will get n from the word outcomes times tron a sum as here for this sum if you want to find at least one at least one at least one at least one so that will be what p of x greater than equals to one so you will write p of one p of two p of three p of four p of five p of six p of seven no so it depends on the value of n so here the value of n it is still six so we'll write till six only we'll stop our writing this probability form this p one two three till six not more than that if it says that ten times so here up to ten you will write got the point okay so here it will be what x greater than equals to three means what p of three p of four p of five goes on it depend on what the value of n got the point okay now there is one shortcut also so what is the shortcut here we'll see now okay here the shortcut is what if i say p x greater than equals to 2 if i take this sum the value of n is 6 so you will write p of 2 p of 3 p of 4 p of 5 p of 6 that means you have to apply the binomial distribution formula what is that this formula how many times check 1 2 3 4 five times you have to apply the formula in which when you will apply the first formula you will get the value of 2 when you will replace the value of x by 2 you will get the value for p of 2 when you will replace the value of x you will get the value of p of 3 so that means how many times you have to apply 1 2 3 4 5 so after that after finding the values individual values of p of 2 p of 3 p of 4 simply add all the numbers you will get the answer for at least 2 so there is one shortcut instead of finding all the values simply you find the negation of this value as the value of n is what 6 here so i wrote 2 3 4 5 6 so negation of this part negation of this part will be what negation the remaining numbers other than this so we here we left with what 0 and 1 na because 2 3 4 5 6 is there so here we left with what 0 and 1 so simply what you will do you will write 1 then minus then after that you will write the remaining numbers other than this so here we left with 0 and 1 so you will write p of 0 and p of 1 so in simple language one more time i will explain instead of writing this all the numbers just write 1 put minus sign then put x p of x negation of this negation of this what is the negation of greater than equal to is less than you will write less than 2 one more time if i say x greater than 3 instead of writing p of 3 p of 4 p of 5 p of 6 we'll use the shortcut formula we'll write 1 we'll put minus p of x negation of this negation of this what is the negation of greater than equal to you will write less than and then you will write 3 it means what 1 minus less than 3 less than 3 so we know that less than 3 are what p of 0 p of 1 p of 2 we cannot write p of 3 because it says that 
less than 3 not less than equal to 3 less than equal to understood okay so when you will apply this format there you have to apply the formula for four times okay when you will use the shortcut formula okay here you have to apply the three times formula so three times is better or four times is better three times yes or no so simply find the answer add this answer and subtract with one you will get the answer in both the cases the answer will be same so it is on you you can apply this format also or else a shortcut method also so here in shortcut method exactly what you have to do you will write one minus and the negation of this part that's it understood so that was the concept for at least now for at the most at the most at the most at the most is what we'll see for at the most now for at the most at the most if i say p x less than 2 it means what less than 2 so p of 0 will come p of 1 will come and less than equal to means what that value that value will also come na? p of 2 also so if i say p of x less than equals to okay phi so it will be 0 1 2 3 4 5 yes or no here also you can apply the shortcut formula simply what you will do you will write 1 minus p x negation of this negation of this is what greater and you will write 5 so 1 minus after 5 you will write so greater than 5 will be what 6 7 and then so on like that okay so it is on you you can apply the shortcut or else a straight method okay so that was the point number 5 so when we will solve the sum based on this exactly whenever the sum comes exactly probability find getting at least at the most exactly that time again i will explain in deep how to find the answer by using this method also and by using shortcut method also don't worry about that okay now we'll move on to the point number six and point number six already we had covered in the previous lecture previous video in the type number one e of x v of x sd e stand for mean expected value v stand for variance as this stand for standard deviation this all things we had done in the previous lecture so i hope so you all understood the concept the basic concept of 11 standard permutation combination the factorial the meaning of at least at at most exactly yes or no here each and everything the definition bernoulli trials what do you mean by binomial distribution how to guess the value of n p q x from the statement yes or no i hope so you all understood the small small concept of your 11th standard as well as of 12th also so in the next lecture we'll solve the sums based on type number two using this all concept till then goodbye see you in next lecture